Uh, so I saw somebody earlier had asked uh, if they could hear the kick without any of the processing on it. And then on. So you'll, you'll hear some of that compromise that I'm talking about where there has been distortion added to this kick through the process of compression, um, EQing, saturation, all, all the things that I've done in order to help this, this track overall reach um, a specific commercial loudness. Um, you, can, you can hear the, the kind of side effects of these decisions that I've made, right? Uh, so the first thing I've done, uh, I spoke about briefly earlier, where I'm using the Spectrum, uh, Ableton's native Spectrum Analyzer, to, to look at the, the peak resonant frequency, the fundamental frequency uh, of this kick. And from that, using it to make a determination on its tuning. So instead of using drum rack's uh, internal tuning, which, which transposes um, a sample and, and tries to keep the sample length um, the same while it does it, which can mess with the sample rate of the sample, you know, it stretches a sample out, you have less, um, you have less zeros and ones that are, that are that are being used over a specific amount of time in order to um, show this, this sample, you know, to present this sample as an audible sound source to um, your eventual end audience. So instead of using transpose, uh, specifically instead of using transpose for shifting, for transposing down, you know, if we were just to transpose down, you can quickly hear, you know, after one or two semitones that there's going to be, um, it's going to lose some of its punch and body. So let's we'll listen to it here. And then if we were to turn it up quite a bit. You, you run into that issue, the issues that I'm talking about less when you're transposing up because generally that's, that's giving, um, you're, you're shortening the sample um, in theory, which will uh, retain all of the original information. You're not spreading it out so much that you're, you're um, hearing digitally added artifacts. So frequency shifter works in a different way because it um, is not dependent on shifting the, the tonality based on uh, something like um, the equal temperament Western music scale, right? Since we're using a frequency shifter, and if we just look at the spectrum analyzer, so I'll go back to zero here. So you can see that, um, give it a little bit of a zoom here. You know, if I was to move this 10 Hertz, it's going to change um, the lower frequencies much more drastically than the higher frequencies because of the response curve of um, our normal spectrum analyzers, right? So this, uh, you know, 